Hello friends, in this video we will see ajax.action link helper in MVC 3 Razor. Now this helper is used to render content on the page asynchronously. It sends the asynchronous request to the action method and update the DOM with the result. This helper also renders an anchor tag. Uh, so let's have a simple example. Now this is my simple ASP.NET MVC 3 application and we are using Razor syntax and let's run the application and see how the view renders. Now I have an index.cshtml view which renders like this. Now I have a h2 element, a div element and an action link which is html.action link. Now when I click on this link, post pack, a request goes to another action method and the page refreshes and the next view is rendered. So now if I want to render that view as a part of this view and that too asynchronously, I can use ajax dot action link helper. Now let's see how we can get that. Now I am going to render ajax dot action link and the first parameter that take is to action link demo async. Now the second parameter it accepts is the name of the action method. So name of the action method is ajax action link demo. Now the third parameter is the ajax options. So now here we can specify the control id where we want to update the result. Like now this action link method will be calling helper will be calling the action method this and the result of this action method will be updated inside this div so to do that there's a there's a property name as update target id we need to specify the target id of the div where you want to update it so i have created the ajax link so now if I click on this link no post back happens and the view the content of that view is updated here okay and it is it has replaced the content of the entire div so now if I want to append it there is one more option that is insertion mode where I will say insertion mode dot insert before insert before will append the result before this content and insert after will append after the content so if I refresh the view I click on my link now you can see it has rendered it before and if I make it after insert after then it will append it after the existing content. So this is how you can use ajax or action link helper to render the content of other view in the same view asynchronously. Now let's take uh, one more example. So now this is another ASP.NET MVC3 application wherein I have a register form and I also have a login form. Now I want a view where I can have access to both the forms on a single view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one view here. I'm going to create one action result method. See combo. I'm going to add this views and one more information you must follow while using ajax helpers or action link or any ajax helpers you need to include the reference of an obtrusive ajax main.js this is mandatory to use the ajax helpers 
so let me update in my layout as well so i have updated now i have combo.css html so i'll be rendering this view so let me run the application i can see combo now on this view i have two this view i'll be having two links one after the another calling the register and login action methods and those forms will be updated in this div that is target div so let's see how we can do it now let me our first link is register and it will call the register action method and i am going to give only the updated target id that is target div now the same thing goes for my login as well only the action method to call will change and the link text as well so now let me refresh the <coughs> view now you can see there are two links so when i click on the register it will asynchronously call the register action method and update my div and when i click the login it will get the result from the login action method and update my div with the login so this is how you can create a single view wherein you can call multiple action methods and that too asynchronously and can display their data so this is all about ajax or action thank you friends